10 years ago, over 10 years ago, before Jag was yet a year old, we were hunting the ice. He went out on the ice to retrieve a duck and fell through. We didn't have a system in place to save him and he didn't have much experience and he was kind of freaking out and I admit I was too. So I just crashed my way out to the ice to get him and I was up to my chin in water. It ruined the hunt. It was a potentially catastrophic event that could have lost my dog who now has 3,094 retrieves. So it motivated me to come up with a system that was lightweight, portable, inexpensive to safely be able to navigate the ice and save the dog or save another hunter. Cosmo with Cosmo's Black Dog Outdoors. To give you a little background on me, in 1978 I started my hunting career and shortly after I graduated high school I went to work on a ranch, a 22,000 acre ranch out in the Flint Hills and I learned livestock and, and land management. Uh, in 1984 I joined the fire department and I immediately realized it was a good gig I had 24 hours on duty, 48 hours off. It was great for a guy that likes to hunt. In fact, in the last 11 years, we've just been keeping stats, in the last 11 years, I've hunted 90 days a year for 11 years. And one of those years, I had shoulder surgery in November, so that one doesn't even count. Some of my part-time jobs included uh, uh, water. I was a professional waterfowl guide for a while. I was a white-tail deer guide for a while. I was a painter, trim carpenter, landscaper, and all of those part-time jobs and skills have I've now come back to pay great dividends in my waterfowl and hunting uh, career now. Uh, the professional side of the fire department, I was on the rescue team for 27 years and we did rope rescue, high angle extrication, ventilation, ice diving, ice surface rescue, fast water rescue, and I'm a ice surface rescue instructor and I am a fast water rescue instructor as well. And many times people called 911 because they didn't recognize the danger and would get themselves in a pinch and we would have to go rescue them. And that's part of what's motivating me now is to share those experiences with you and keep everybody safe and save your dog as well. I'll be producing videos for my channel and I'm going to make hunting videos which I hope entertains you and I'm going to do DIY videos which I hope informs you. They're going to be a wide variety of topics all from safety, dog safety, your safety, food plots, land management, pasture burning, water tanks, spray rigs, you name it, we're probably going to produce it. As you'll find out as you watch me, I'm not always politically correct and I'm a bit harsh in some of my explanations. But I do always try to strive to follow the Word of God. So let's see what God has to say on the subject of hunting. Then God blessed Noah and his sons, saying to them, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. The fear and dread of you will fall on all the beasts of the earth and on all the birds of the sky and every creature that moves along the ground and all the fish in the sea. They are given into your hands. Everything that lives and moves about will be food for you. Just as I gave you the green plants, now I give you everything. So God says we can hunt. Apparently he was the original game warden. So if any anti-hunter tells you that you can't hunt, it says it right here in the Bible that you're able to hunt. I find that hunting is a sport best enjoyed with good friends. And I'd like to introduce you to a couple of mine. Oh. Oh.